Hi everyone, I'm back again with a small haul and mainly a walkthrough of Ikea showroom. We did purchase a few things actually for my girls. Nothing major. Oh, and let me not forget that we did get my husband something. I did a little trick -a on him. I saw he was looking at some storage bins. I pretended I wanted them just so he could get them because when it comes to buying things for himself, he doesn't do that. So here we have a few of the glass jars, really nice jars. My daughter picked them out. She's into these scrubs, y'all. And we spent so much money purchasing them from her, for her from the store. But she's decided to make her own. So now she has storage containers for them. We also have this sheet set that she picked out for her bed. Really cute. It's only like $9.99 and the glass jars were $4.99. Not bad at all. It comes with a... What is that? Like a full sheet, almost like a duvet color cover. These were some kitchen towels that I picked up. They were actually $2.99 for four, which was not bad at all. Actually, is that four? That is four for $2.99. And then in my office, I have safe, not safety pins, but I have um, little stick pins and all kinds of things everywhere in the drawers. Safety hazard. So I picked up some jars to put them in just as storage. There's a little cactus plants back there that my little one was into. We also found this potted plant for $4.99. Not bad at all. But she didn't like the container, so we found another little pot that was only $1.99. And that's how we started in the store, and that's how we ended up purchasing them. But they were separate. She's into this greenery thing that she's doing in her bedroom. So my girls, they love coffee. We found some little coffee cups. We just purchased two. Again, it was not a shopping trip at all. There's a couple of galvanized pots. They were 49 cents. Can't beat that. And this was one thing that I purchased. So you know how you have your onions and potatoes and some people store them in the refrigerator, some store them in boxes little storage containers some store them in baskets well these are perfect for storing those type of things and they were only $5.99 each now this is what I'm talking about my husband he had his eye on them and I was like "Ooh, those are really nice I could use those in my studio and so I pretended I know it's wrong but I pretended like I wanted them just so he could get them because again he does not like buying anything for himself but it goes good in his he shed so those were his. Right here, we saw that it was actually set up really cute, a display you'll see in the video. But it's like a pop-up sun visor. And my husband's like, oh, that would be really good for movie night outside. So my youngest one, she got that. It was $24.99, but let me tell you about it. I always compare things to Amazon. And on Amazon, it was $54.99 or $98 compared to $24.99. Right here, we were walking past this section. I was like, what is that smell? Because it wasn't the cafe area. And I realized it was these candles. Y'all, look, they smell amazing. Now, one of them broke. The glass broke. So what I did was I took the glass from around it. And I tried to take the candle out so that I could put it in another glass container. Well, the whole wick came out. So I don't know if y'all remember those old-fashioned candle or wax burners. Almost looked like a little crock pot. I stuck one of those in there and it lit up the whole house. You could literally smell it from my front door before you even enter. So we purchased those. Those were $2.99 for the little ones, those candles, and $4.99 for the bigger one. So this right here is our little haul. Brace yourself because up next are some absolutely beautiful showroom displays. A perfect way to get ideas and go back home to create in your own space. Thank you.